we're here by a pile of manure to talk about placement of the fly parasite release stations. So what you want to do is get the fly parasites close to where there's active fly breeding sites, but not in the manure, because you don't want the um, uh, fly parasites to be removed with the manure. And so uh, this is a pretty good location. So it's on the other side of the fence from where the animals will uh, be able to uh, mess with the trap. So we just loop it over the rail, and then so we can remove the lid to place some of the fly parasites in the container. So some of the basic ideas for fly parasite release station placement are near but not in the manure, uh, where they'll be out of the way, where the animals won't be playing with them, messing on them with them, or chewing on them, and uh, where they're convenient to access for the people putting the fly parasites in them, and um, um, where they'll be hopefully you know a little sh shaded or sheltered from the, the direct uh, sun. Now when you receive the fly parasites, all you're going to do is remove the lid, take a small pinch, And just drop it right into the release station. Put your lid back on and go on to your next station. Now two weeks later when you get your second shipment there's no need to dump out that pinch you put in a couple of weeks ago. Just go around with your brand new bag. Take another small pinch and drop it right in on top of what was in there last week. Replace the lid, and there you go. So the fly parasites look a lot like food to a lot of birds. They um, uh, might get rotten in the uh, uh, if they're placed actually in the manure, and they um, uh, will be uh, trampled by the animals. So giving them a protected place from which they can emerge will uh, give you much better use of the fly parasites. The, uh, Fly parasites hatch out of the pupae, come through the little holes in the uh, plastic mesh, and then they will travel something like 50 feet in every direction looking for the uh, freshly formed fly pupae.